Welcome to Clarentia Kingdom. My name is Clara and I like the Professor Layton series a lot. Really, I'm not a puzzle genius, but I love the stories and cinematics on these games. My favorite one is, without a doubt, Professor Layton and the Lost Future, mainly because it deals with a very cool theme, time travel. So I'll be talking about it today. Stick with me as we travel through time together. The Professor Layton series follows, well, Professor Herschel Layton, the protagonist, a British archaeologist, and his apprentice, Luke Triton, as they solve puzzles and uncover mysteries, and cutscenes eventually play throughout the story. I started playing this series back when I was in high school. At first, it didn't grab my attention, because this kind of gameplay with puzzle solving involving math and logic wasn't really my thing. However, I kept playing anyway because I was totally addicted to my Nintendo DS, and I also liked the art style. I played the first and second titles, and they were interesting enough to make me keep playing until the third title of the franchise. Professor Layton and the Lost Future, also known as Professor Layton and the Unknown Future, starts when the main duo receives a letter from a person that claims to be Luke, Layton's apprentice, but from the future. After some events that occur through the game, they both find themselves in the streets of London, in the future. The story is interesting by itself, but there are two other reasons that made me totally fall in love with this title in particular. First, because it tells a little more about the past of the true gentleman, Herschel Layton, and his memories dating 10 years prior to the events of the game. Here we get to see a younger, hopeful, and a bit more naive Layton than the one we already knew from the past games. We even get to know how he got his signature top hat. It is a very sweet story, and it tells us a bit more of why this character may be the way he's become. The end of the game was bittersweet for me, and I can't help but tear up whenever I think about it. Second, because there's this character, which is known as Future Luke, that instantly became a husband for me <laughs> the moment that I laid my eyes on him. He's so charming and handsome, and since he's supposed to be a future version of the cute and clever Luke Triton, I always wondered what will I be like in the future? And now that I am older, I also wonder what would I say if I could go back in time and talk to a younger Clara? Considering the events of the game and also what movies regarding time travel have told me, maybe I could not really tell my past self that I'm her or it could potentially alter reality as we know it, so it would be best if I disguise myself to talk to her. Perhaps... No, not this one, to Eerie. Um, no, 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 to, to Broken. Aha, perfect. Not suspicious at all. After searching and finding my past self, I would then do my best to tell this innocent, careless child things I've learned through life that could be useful for her to have in mind. I remember that I never wanted to be an adult, but I had many expectations about the future. So I would tell this child that life is rough, so she should be flexible about her goals, because life is unpredictable. But also to be easy on herself, because I remember that at many times I wanted to do many things at once and could not. But I would also tell her to not be too easy, and don't be lazy, because she's stronger than she thinks and will be able to do cool stuff. I would also encourage her on exploring the possibilities in life, having in mind that she may fail, but that is amazing because she will find new ways of doing things. To be positive, but don't feel bad if negativity comes by, that sometimes it is hard to stay positive, but to stay strong and move forward regardless, to be grateful for things and experiences alike, and... and... <laughs> um, well... well... maybe... All that I ever needed in that moment was... Sometimes I find myself thinking on how I am superior to my past self because now I'm more mature and able on doing more things than I could before and I have a stronger mindset, but I kind of forget that my past is a part of who I am. And it is thanks to what little Clara's been through that I became the person that I am today. 
I guess I should be grateful for the person, for the child I was someday, and appreciate the journey that took me to the place where I am today, even though it was painful many times. My past is a part of who I am, although it does not define me, because I see that I am changing and becoming a new person every day. And sometimes, when looking at it, the things I've been through kind of make sense, although some others don't. And that's okay, life doesn't always make sense, but it's worth you living, as in the future you might find wonderful people and live amazing experiences. That's what I want to believe. And that is what Professor Layton in The Lost Future told me. So, how about you? Would you go back in time and talk to your past self? Or maybe, would you like to go to the future and talk to a more mature version of you? Leave your thoughts in the comment section and let's talk about it! That's it! Subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about the kingdom. And I hope to see you soon. Bye bye!